Hello, welcome back to the session. And in this session, we'll be focusing on the ring topology. Ring topology, as is before, we have three nodes N0, N1, and N2. Uh, one thing to observe now is that uh, N0 is connected to N1 using a simplex link, and likewise, N1 is connected to N2 with another simplex link and N2 is connected to N0 with a simplex link. So, and uh, direction also, it's important that we note the direction also. So, we have uh, a simplex link in this direction and then we have this simplex links in this direction and further this one in this direction. So, that any traffic that flows from N0 will to N2 will have to take this path. It can take only this path. And likewise, from uh, N1 to N0, it will have to take this path. This is how we need to configure. And the other parameters of uh, the links are specified here. Likewise, uh, of the applications are also specified over here. So, now let us get to Ubuntu and then let us configure this in uh, Network Simulator. So, we are into Ubuntu. Uh, let us configure this in NSG. Let us do LS and uh, NSG basically we started with Java minus jar NSG. Let us put a percent and let us start the simulator. And meantime, let us also minimize this and keep it to a side so that we can have a look at the manual as we build the network. Okay, so we need. Uh, three nodes n0 n1 n2 then when it comes to link now remember we'll have to choose simplex uh, we are told to choose simplex drop tail and uh, we are told to use 2 mbps and then propagation delay of 10 milliseconds and q size of 50 that is fine and remember direction is important so from n0 it go to go to n1 and likewise from n1 it got to go to N2 and N from N2 it got to go to N0 back and uh, the direction is specified over here also 0 to 1 then 1 to 2 and then from 2 to 0 ok we have got the links now the next thing is about the agents so we need a TCP agent uh, we want a TCP agent here and uh, we want the corresponding sync to be at uh, N2 and then we should uh, connect these two and then we want a UDP, we want a UDP to be at uh, N1 and the corresponding null of the UDP, we want it to be here and then we should connect these two and further we want the application FTP to start at one second and run till 8 seconds and we want it to be using TCP at N0. Then we want uh, CBR, we want the CBR to be of uh, 1 second and 8 second fine and the packet size we want it to be 1500 and then the rate we want it to be 2 Mbps and uh, CBR should be at UDP here. Then we go to the parameters, here we change it to, right now it is a ring, likewise NAM file also should be saved in the ring file and we are done with this, we get the TCL. So we got the TCL, we save the TCL into our home directory, home directory is this place, we save it, we have, uh, yeah we need to save it with the name ring. So, we have the TCL now. We go back to the terminal. In the terminal, since we had uh, started the NSG with the ampersand, that is why the terminal is free now. The NSG is running in the background. So, you can do anything that we want over here. Else, we will have to open another terminal. Uh, let us do a G edit of uh, the the ring that we created just now uh, so that we let us do the color coding of uh, the packets here TCP and the 
UDP packets. To do the color coding, we will have to use few commands. We'll get those commands from here. We have those commands here. Yeah, we have the commands here. NS color one red. Yeah, let's go back. Let's go back. So after the network simulator, we, in the TCL file, we are NS color one red. Likewise, NS color two blue. So these are the two colors that we are defining. And then let's look at uh, how to uh, basically set the flows. So for TCP, let's set it as uh, 1 and UDP, let's set it as flow ID 2. Okay, let's get back to our screens. Yeah, where is the TCP? So let's scroll down here. Yeah, we are scrolling down here. Yes, here just like the way packet size is set, the same way we'll have to set TCP zero, set FID underscore as one. So we are setting the TCP as red, and then UDP. Yeah. It is named as UDP2 set flow ID to 2. So these are the two changes that we need to do so that we see the colors differently now for TCP and UDP. Then getting back, so let's uh, we need to start the network simulator, give it uh, the ring file, ring TCL file that we created just now. Yeah, no errors. And then we have the NAM coming up over here. So let's just reorganize this a little bit. So let's pull this apart, far apart, so that we see the packets clearly. And let's play the animation. So now we have the time slider sliding approximately at uh, one second. We should start see seeing the traffic flow. So we are at uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So if you want, you can make it a little bit faster. 0 0.9. Yeah, we are seeing the packet flow now. Yeah. So from one, we have the blue packets going. And interestingly, just look at this uh, blue over here. So you can see a tail over there, a small red color tail. Let me pause it so that, yeah. So few observations is that from zero, we are seeing the TCP packets going. They are in red color and they go all the way for to one. And from one, they are going to two. Uh, okay, fine. And then two is sending the acknowledgements and look at the acknowledgements it is sending. It is sending the acknowledgement as piggybacking. It is doing a piggybacking of the data frame that is going out. In fact, this was UDP that was going out. He is doing a piggybacking of it and then they are getting to zero over here. And once the acknowledgement comes, then zero is for the sending the TCP packets. Apart from that, the UDP traffic that is going, that is blue in color, you have the UDP going to two and then going to zero. Okay, let's play it. Sometimes the acknowledgements are separate. Yeah, you have this flow happening. Both TCP and UDP are flowing. So let's do a fast forward so that they are over quickly. Yeah, you have some packet drops also happening. TCP and UDP also packet drops happen because of the congestion they are facing. So let's now close this and let's also see if our terminal is free. Yes, our terminal is free. Uh, we have the TR file generated for the ring. So let's do analysis of the TR file. And for that, we use awk minus f. We use the MGIT awk script. And uh, to the awk script, we need to give 
the ring the tr file so we hit enter and those statistics have come so let's look at uh, let's scroll a little bit up so we have the tcp statistics here visible here so now let's note them down so let's put this to a side yeah and then let's uh, try to maximize this a little bit this one and uh, where did that go and uh, this one let's maximize it a little bit yes and then let's note down the values so you can see we have done with ring now and ring we want to note down the uh, TCP values so TCP values have scrolled above a bit so yeah now we are able to see the TCP values so let's get come back here and TCP we have been using the black color so we'll TCP you see the node 0 2 node 2 and application zero on it and this is of the type tcp and uh, the packet size over here yeah i think we did a mistake here uh, we wanted 1500 size but we kept it as this thousand okay anyway uh, starting at zero second then it is going on till 8.3.1 second and uh, you can see that it has trans sent only one not three packets out of which 15 have dropped because of which it had to do retransmission and retransmission in fact it did extra retransmissions that's why five of them are duplicate and we see that all the 103 tcp has made sure that all the 103 have reached the destination in spite of the drops that are there because he has done the retransmissions that's the reason we have 100 percent uh, delivery zero percent drop and then the time it took look at the delay now it has increased it has increased to 3.4.34 seconds and look at the uh, throughput it is approximately 112 kilobits per second you can see that the throughput has drastically it was 1 mb for tcp it was uh, Three, approximately 3 MB for mesh and it has dropped drastically it has gone into kbps uh, for the ring for the tcp uh, and then the next thing is let's also note down the udp udp let's again in ubuntu let's scroll the screen a little bit where is the screen yeah here's the screen so let's scroll the screen yeah you are getting we are getting the udp here so let's note down the UDP values also. UDP values, it was from node 1 to going to 0, and it was of type, I mean, the application that was running was CBR, packet size 1500, uh, started at 1 second, and uh, it was done at 8.32 seconds and then uh, number of packets sent is 1167 out of them 25 dropped no retransmission in case of udp no duplicates and only a uh, majority of them got through but not all of them that's the reason delivery is 97.86 percent and then there are a drop off you can see the drop has increased to two percent and the delay was 0.3 seconds and the throughput in this case was 1.87 mbps okay that completes our three topologies star mesh and ring topologies and we have also seen 
basically though uh, UDP if you observe UDP throughput it has almost remained constant irrespective of uh, the topology uh, to around 2 Mbps and then to around 2 Mbps and likewise around 2 Mbps whereas TCP has suffered or uh, TCP has basically based on the topology uh, it is changing that is what we can notice we, that is what we can conclude okay we'll stop here and in the next section we'll look at the bus topology thank you